to fill an empty bobbin or one that's starting to run out, you can place it on the wee stud just here. That stud flicks from side to side. It needs to be on the left hand side for you to put the bobbin on. Then you're going to flick it to the right hand side and that will enable it to start spinning. Your thread goes on the spool holder just here. You're going to bring your thread along to the stud over here. It's got arrows on the top of it that indicate which way your thread wraps around it. So it comes to the front and in a clockwise motion it goes towards the back. Bring it along to your bobbin, same thing again, behind your bobbin in a clockwise motion. Wrap it around a couple of times and then you can put your foot on the foot controller and it'll start filling it. Just let it fill until you notice it starts struggling to spin anymore and then you can take your foot off and you can cut it to separate it. Okay, so I filled my bobbin up. I'll show you in a second. It's just starting to struggle to spin around now. Okay, it's just sort of jumping around. So you know that's when it's full because it's hitting on the bobbin winder stop here. So now that it's full, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut the connection between the two of them flick this back to the left hand side so that I can pull it up and take it off. Then I can take that off there and I can thread my machine, put my bobbin into my bobbin case and go fishing and then I'm ready to sew.